Might as well say. Oh, good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for coming. Um, police have declared the disappearance of Mr. Kenneth Camplin, a major crime. Mr. Camplin, or Kenny, who was commonly known as, was last seen at about 11 a.m. on 26 December, Boxing Day. Um, police have concerns in relation to his disappearance. He's totally out of character. He's not contacted family or friends. He's not using his mobile phone. Um, and as such, we believe he may have been the victim of foul play and we have declared the matter a major crime. At that time, 11am on the 26th, Mr Camplin was last seen waving goodbye to two males. Um, we are seeking those two males and I'll add a bit more a bit later on. On the 30th of December, a relative and a friend attended at his home address. They found the back door open. They found his beloved dog starving and severely dehydrated. This is totally out of character for Mr Camplin, who was very security conscious and loved his dog and would never, ever have left his dog in this condition. Um, they were concerned, reported him as, as a missing person. Elizabeth CLB came involved in the investigation very early on. They also had concerns in relation to what may have happened to Mr Camplin due to the circumstances of his disappearance. Uh, since the 31st of December, Elizabeth CLB have been conducting a very thorough investigation and have been liaising regularly with officers from the Major Crime Investigation Branch. Um, that investigation has uncovered a few things which lead us to believe he has been the victim of foul play and as such, as I said earlier, his disappearance has now been declared a major crime. We're obviously seeking information from the public, from anybody who has any information which may assist us in relation to his disappearance and we're obviously also seeking to identify who the two males were that were last seen with him at his Powell Lowey address at 11am on the 26th. At that time, Mr Campbell was waving goodbye to those males and everything seemed very amicable. But we, Elizabeth CLB, have not been able to identify who those two males are. And obviously, if anyone has any, any information, we'd ask them to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Do you have any other crime, Mr Campbell? How do you know that was the last thing you've seen? Uh, through, through a witness. You know, through door knocks, someone has given us information that two males were at the house and he was waving goodbye to them. So we have a brief description of them, you know, the males in their 20, uh, thin, dark hair. Obviously we will we'll be exploring that line of avenue further. Do you, do you think you know who they might be? You actually no, we have no idea who they are. Um, you know, obviously with any type of investigation like this, you start in close, work out wide, and we obviously need to identify who they are. They might ha may have nothing to do with the disappearance whatsoever, but for the the investigation, the completeness of it, developing the picture, we need to identify who they are. What is the description of uh, them? Uh, it's very basic at the stage, the males in their 20, thin, one has dark hair. And what specifically, what information do you have specifically that makes you believe uh, this man's become a victim of foul play other than his disappearance and not contacting friend or family? Well, that, that forms a strong basis of it. Um, I said earlier he was very security conscious, would never leave his house as it is. He um, would never leave his dog, which he loved very much. Um, he was a very regular user of his phone. It is totally out of character. Um, the investigation by Elizabeth CLB has uncovered uh, several aspects which heighten our concern. Um, obviously, there are matters that we need to keep close to our chest and we can't say for obvious reasons. But looking at all the, the pit, picture, the investigation that's been conducted, we are certainly concerned in relation to his disappearance, and that's why it's declared a major crime. And did you know this fellow had debts, Chris? Sorry? Did he have debts? Either? Not, not that I know of, no. We don't have, haven't identified any particular uh, motive for why anybody um, would want him to disappear. Um, we're really, at the early stages of the investigation, we're really appealing to the public, um, you know, because any little piece of information may be the clue that you know caused the whole investigation to you know unfold and work out what exactly happened to Mr. Camplin. Any sign of the struggle at his house? Uh, no. Was he known to use drugs at all? Uh, not that I know of, no. Was he known to police? Um, I think he's known to police, but very minor. Yeah. You don't actually have any suspects? Anything? No, look, we don't have any. Su there's no suspects at this time. Look, this. Um, really is um, the initial appeal to try and get as many as much information as we can from the public and to raise to the public and into the media that you know his 
disappearance has been declared a major crime and we're obviously very concerned as to what's happened.